Thanks, Mike. We'll see you then. Now to Denver International Airport, where hundreds of flights have been canceled or delayed today. But this time, it's not just United Airlines struggling to take off. At last check, more than 400 flights were delayed and just under 200 flights were canceled. Most of those are on Southwest Airlines. However, about 150 of the delayed flights are from United. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon joins us live from DIA. And Colette, this is the second straight week of travel troubles there. The second straight week I've been here covering these travel troubles too, and it is frustrating. Let me tell you for everyone at this airport. Now the FAA says that last week it was severe storms that really messed up those travel plans. They do say that's not why we saw issues today, though. Most of the airlines really bounced back from that quickly. The exception was, of course, United. Today, though, there was a ground delay that started at around 2, lifted just before 6 o'clock. There were hundreds of delays and cancellations caused here at DIA, although the board is looking a lot better than we've seen it in the hours that we've been here since around 4 p.m. today. But still, no matter the reason why a flight is canceled or delayed, it's frustrating for travelers. I was here just with family. No matter why, someone's flying in or out of DIA. I'm going back today, um, but just that my flight got delayed, so I'll be here for a while. <laughs> There's a lot of travelers who are in the same boat at the airport. It's supposed to be 3 p.m. 3 p.m. But I got a text message stating that it was delayed to 10 o'clock tonight. Like Sunny B, who was trying to get home to Houston with her pup. Princess. I named her Princess because she acts just like a princess. Both have to fly from Denver to Orlando and won't get to Houston until tomorrow afternoon. Originally, she was on a direct flight. What do you think you're going to do in Orlando for all that time, especially when you have Princess with you? I have to make sure she is safe and at least get some food in her tummy and some water. <laughs> So, and they don't sell that at the airport. Just extra money that I didn't need to spend. More than the money, she's most upset about what she's missing at home. I was supposed to take my kids to the fireworks tonight, and then now, uh, by the time I get there, 4th of July will be over. <laughs> Two and a half hours turned into a whole nother 24 hours. So, I'm just super sad. I'm, I did miss my kids. And another travel tale where weather wins again. Travel problems may feel like they're at an all time high right now, but numbers from the FAA actually show that monthly cancellations by percentage of the flights, they're actually trending lower this year than they were last year. Live at DIA, Club Board 1, Denver 7th.